Hi and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a topic that I really hate to talk about. But at the same time, I feel obliged to talk about this particular topic. This is age. So what is the maximum age to apply for carer jobs in the UK or to apply to study nursing in the UK? If you're watching this, please do me a favor and leave a comment in the comment section below. What is the maximum age to apply for carer jobs in the UK or to study nursing in this beautiful country, the UK? Why am I doing this video? I get so many messages every single day from people saying, Hi, Melvis, you know, I'm 36 years old. Do you think I can still get a carer job in the UK? And I'm like, 36? And then another person says, Hi, Melvis, I'm 42 years old. Do you think I can still study nursing? Hi, Melvis, I'm 50. You know, there's a lot, so many people are concerned about their age and getting jobs in the UK. So please do me this massive favor and leave a comment in the comment section. What is the maximum age? Because this is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So if you're new to my channel, look, you're absolutely welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know that I totally appreciate the time that you take to watch these videos. But most importantly, I hope that you are implementing the things that I'm talking about. You know what I mean? In order to enhance your own personal and professional development here in the UK or wherever it is that you are. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you want to take this opportunity now to join the family, hit the subscribe button. So you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here at 10 a.m. prompt UK time. This is a commitment that I'm making to you. This is... I'm dedicating every day to appearing here and talking to you about something related to working in the UK, career progression in the UK, side hustle ideas, work from home opportunities, retiring early so you can chill out, enjoy life before arthritis truly sets in. So if you haven't subscribed to my free newsletter, which I've dropped a link in the comment section below, please check out the comment section, join that newsletter so that I send information directly to your inbox about free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK, career progression opportunities in this beautiful country, the UK. You know, you want to study nursing, you want to do apprenticeships, you're a teacher, you want those, those nanny jobs. You, you know what I mean? Join the newsletter in the comment section below. Um, you're going to see a link there. And then I send that info directly to you. So what are we on about? Look, we're talking age. We are talking numbers. What is the maximum age? I'm very keen to see what people are going to leave in the comment section below because this is something that many people are concerned about. The first thing I'm going to say is that the best thing about moving to the UK is that most, in fact, 99.9% .9 of opportunities in the UK do not discriminate against age. There are many other countries that discriminate against age. A good example of a country I can think about right now is Australia. Let me tell you, many of the visas in Australia, the work visas, if you're over the age of 35, you will not be eligible for most of their visas. Even if you're a student in Australia and you want to switch from a student visa to a work visa, with many of their visas, if you're already over the age of 35, you will not be eligible. And that is why the UK is top. You know, I'm not, there's no bias here. You know what I mean? That's why the UK is the best country so far, I cannot emphasize this enough. You know that as well, don't you? Of course you do. Mm. I think we all know that the UK is the best when you put everything really together. Because the UK, when it comes to fairness, it is top notch. When it comes to giving everybody the opportunity that they deserve to showcase your talent, your skill, your knowledge, your experience, it is the best. It doesn't have that age discrimination in most of their visas and jobs and all that. So what am I trying to say? If you're wanting to move to the UK, please, by all means, apply for those jobs. Don't even think twice about your age, please. Because when I studied nursing, I graduated with a lady from Cameroon who was 62 years old. We graduated together in the UK. She was 62 years old when she graduated as a nurse. I'm telling you this, you know, and there are many other people in this country that 
In fact, the average age for a student nurse in the UK is late 40s to 50s, which means that majority of people studying nursing are going to be that age. Nursing is already a second, a third, or even a fourth career for many people. So do not let age hold yourself back. You know, consider yourself like fine wine. Uh, but before I talk about that, you may be wondering who I am, what I'm yapping about. Yes, my name is Melvis. I work as an advanced nurse practitioner here in the UK. I started my own journey as well as a carer in a nursing home, very keen on career progression, believed that I could do a lot more. I decided to study nursing in the UK as an international student. Within five years graduating as a qualified nurse, I was working as an advanced nurse practitioner, which is the most senior clinical nursing position. So yes, career progression is the key. Career progression is something that I'm very passionate about. Yes, now you're in the UK, so what? Now you're in the UK, then what? What else can you do with yourself? That's something that I'm keen on. So I have a private career coaching program, which you can check in the description box below. Or the about section of this YouTube channel, you're going to see a link to join. I support with career progression, obviously, in the UK. Work from home jobs to earn a lot of money. Starting your own side business in the UK, so you can retire early, earn a lot more money, so you can enjoy life as well as getting those free UK visa sponsorship opportunities. Whether you're still out of the UK looking for teaching jobs, nursing jobs, midwifery jobs, carer jobs, you know what I mean, nanny jobs, I can give you that personalized guidance that you need. If you're in the UK trying to switch your visa, equally so. Once you join, we go through what's your personal circumstances, what's your experience, what about your qualifications, what's the best opportunity for you to go for, how do you proceed? What about your CV? How do you position yourself for success, your application? What about the interview? What are the expectations from you? We literally go through the nitty gritty, every single thing that you need in order to excel, to thrive, to succeed and to be the best candidate for that opportunity. So like I've said, this is not the easy option. I like to stress that. But it is the way to proceed. It is the way forward. There is no easy way to this. You've got to do the work. You need to do the work. I'm only there to guide you. You know what I mean? To mentor you, to show you the way and to say to you, look, this is how you do this. That's what the program is about. So I'm looking forward, obviously, to seeing you. And if you're watching this and you're one of those people worrying about age, you need to check my newsletter, send me an email about this whole age thing and let I, I'm going to reply to you I'll reply to all messages that I get about age you know what I mean just to say to you look don't worry about your age I understand sometimes that if you're living in a country where age is such a big thing you may be thinking hmm I'm already 40 retirement age is 50 what am I doing you know if I'm moving to the UK and I'm going to be retiring soon no in the UK, retirement age, let me tell you, by the time you and I are retiring, it's probably going to be 90 or 80 at least. So you have a very long way to work in the UK. If you're 50 right now, just plan that you've got 20 years to work in the UK. That's a very long time. So don't worry about your age. Put yourself forward. And like I was saying, think about yourself like fine wine. You know what I mean? Fine wine, the more it stays, the more it's aging, the better the quality of the wine, the better the taste of the wine. You know, when you're sipping that wine and you're kind of like swirling, is it swirling when they say, when you're doing like wine tasting, I don't know how they call it. Um, When you're swirling and you're like, hmm, what's the, what's the flavor of this wine? You know, if you're older, that's how you should consider yourself. If you're getting into healthcare as an older person, that is amazing because you've got that life experience, you've got that patience, you've got that empathy, you've got that growth and that maturity that is going to be such, you know, it's going to be very refreshing for the profession. So please put yourself forward. Do not turn yourself down before you've even applied for a job and somebody has said, hmm, what about this? And there's no instance that I've seen anybody deny the job in the UK because of their age. Not really. So please put yourself forward. Forget about the age. Well, I don't mean forget about it, but I mean, it's there. It's there anyway. So whether you go for the opportunities that you want or not, you're still going to be aging. You will still be aging. So you can as well do what you want to do while aging in the process. <laughs> 
this is so funny but yes do what you're supposed to do while aging in the process because if you don't you're still gonna be aging either way that's the message that i want you to take from this video and to say that we're all aging but don't deny yourself from such amazing opportunities so again what do you think about this does it matter the age should age be an issue I personally don't think it should be. I personally want to retire from nursing by the time I'm 40 years old. But it's not because of an ageist thing. It's more because I want to live the life of freedom. I want to do the things that I enjoy. I want to do what I want to do. I want to, to just live life to the fullest, doing my own thing, setting my own rules. You know, I don't want somebody telling me, Melvis, you're coming to work on Tuesday, Friday and Saturday. I don't want that. That's why I want to retire early. But then remember that I've been doing this since I was in my 20s. So again, if you haven't joined my newsletter, check the comment section below and join. If you like this content, hit that like button. It lets me know I enjoy content like this and obviously I should do more. I've linked up this other video and I'll see you in this video. Thank you for your time. See you in this video.